Hey guys, today I want to share with you guys the results for the battery test for iOS 11.1 beta 4 versus iOS 11.1 beta 5. Now if you watch my beta coverage or my battery performance test coverage, you may notice that with betas, you don't see that much of an improvement in battery. If you want to see how much the battery has improved from iOS 11.0.3, which is current right now, versus iOS 11.1, I'll link that video down below. You're gonna, you might be surprised at how much Apple has improved. But today we're going to take a look at 11.1 beta 4, again, as I mentioned, versus beta 5. Now, I read your comments. I see what you're asking for, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, and I do have those devices. Now, there's a reason why I don't add those devices. I need those devices to create more content for you guys. And there's also other reasons. For example, the iPhone uh, 6 has uh, Cydia, so it's jailbroken. I don't want to update that. Uh, the iPhone 7 also has Cydia, so I don't want to update that. I have more content for you guys if I keep those devices in those firmwares. I also have other devices running iOS 10.33. And those are the reasons why I can't update those devices yet and add them to the list, but I do have them in-house. Hopefully I can purchase more iPhones and not have to update the older ones in order to keep uh, the information coming your way with these battery tests. But today we have the battery test iPhone SE, iPhone 6 Plus, 7 Plus, and 8 Plus. So let's go ahead and take a look at the test itself to see what the results are. So from left to right, iPhone SE, 11.1 .1 Beta 4. We have the iPhone SE in Beta 4 that died at around 6 hours. Same thing for the iPhone 6 Plus six hours around there uh, also the iphone 7 plus about five hours and 45 minutes the iphone 8 plus also six hours six hours and 30 minutes so that's around six hours and six hours and 30 minutes for all devices across the board in beta 4. so now let's go ahead and take a look at beta 5 again same deal from left to right iphone se 6 plus 7 plus and 8 plus now in beta 5 iPhone SE, 5 hours and 56 minutes. Again, approximately 6 hours. Very similar to Beta 4. Nothing changed there. iPhone 6 Plus, 6 hours and 34 minutes. Nothing drastic there. Uh, maybe 25 to 30 minutes improvement. The iPhone 7 Plus came in at 5 hours and 47 minutes, which was 5 hours and 44 on the previous, so nothing improved there. And the iPhone 8 Plus which gave us uh, 6 hours and 38 minutes on beta 5. Again, nothing really improved there either. And as I mentioned, in betas, you don't see that many changes in terms of battery improvement. You really see it when it's a major software leap, like 11.03 versus 11.1. .1. And again, that video is going to be in the description. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Peace.